Google's algorithm is constantly changing and evolving to better suit the user, but it also makes it more challenging to appear or rank in their first results page. What can you do to compete with getting your small business noticed on Google? Well, for one thing, you can use structured data on your site and content. Let's take a look at how structured data can help your online presence in this edition of To the Frontier Tip of the Week. Hey everyone, I'm Robert and today we're going to be looking at structured data, also known as schema markup. What is structured data? It's basically pieces of code that make it easier for Google to read your content. Google uses that code to index and prioritize your content when somebody searches for something. You tell Google what the specific pieces are, such as your heading, who the author is, or just what the content is about. From there, Google places it in a database and can be called up when somebody searches for something that fits that criteria. This little bit of code helps Google determine what your information is about and whether or not it is useful to the searcher. Remember, Google is all about being user-friendly, so if it's something that helps the user, the more likely it is Google places it in the top 10 search results. So what goes into structured data? Well, a while back, all the major search engines, including Google, got together and decided what categories they would use to index and prioritize content at websites. These categories are called schema, and there's a lot of them. You can find all of the major schema that the search engines use at schema.org. Think of how you organize your content. It's going to be based on a hierarchy. First, you'll decide what category the content you're making up, marking up fits into. If it's the most common one, creative works, then you'll find different subcategories that fit with creative works. These subcategories can include books, movies, music, blogs, news articles, reviews, and many other things. You can also mark up your content with schema like events, health, organization, and local businesses. Once you've determined what your first category is going to be, you go through your content or website and look for the individual pieces that fit with each individual schema. If it's a heading, it would go with headlines. If it's an image, there's a spot for that as well. These categories all fit into strings of code that go into your website or post. But if you don't have coding experience, don't worry. There are many plugins and programs that can help you out. Google has one called Structured Data Markup Helper. So, once you've gotten all of your schema marked up, we come to the big question. Why does it matter? Well, the ability for Google to read your content and know exactly where it belongs is very useful in ranking in their top 10 search results. When you use structured data correctly, it increases your chances of showing up there. It also increases your chances of showing up in Google's featured snippets area. Featured snippets occur when Google determines the content is valuable and authoritative enough to answer a question for the user, going back to how user-friendly Google is. If you type in most questions, the answer will appear on the search result page, shown in a white box. Featured snippets show users that the website the information is coming from is very trustworthy and authoritative. Appearing in Google's top 10 is getting harder and harder, and featured snippets are one of the reasons why. They add value to the user and give them the answer directly, and push down the organic results. So if you feature in one of those snippets, it can help your website out a lot more. So should you use structured data on your website? Well, yes, but it's also not a surefire way to appear in the top 10. There really is no guarantee what Google will decide belongs in their top 10 search results. All you can do is follow search engine optimization best practices, uh, keep providing valuable content that's high quality, and doing things like adding structured data or schema markup. All of these things will go into Google's consideration on, as to whether or not to rank you in the top 10. You won't be penalized by Google if you don't use structured data, but if you use it correctly, it can help you out a lot. Are you ready to get structured data or schema markup into your website or content? Give us a call to talk about how do you can do that, or give us a call to even just talk about how to rank in Google's top 10. We can help you out there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.